Hello guys, welcome back to our channel with me Andy Prastia 41 and right now I have surprise for you all because right now I'm making content about yes, you know as I promised before maybe if you still remember I have uh, promised if I will make a video about class in tiny scale in tiny size with interior and lamp I think you already know what scale is that because yeah the scale is 87 actually but we met with light and interior like this guys so it's a uh, Singapore SPS transit bus like this nah, so this is a uh, 80 second scale since I ever making 87 scale in my previous content I also ever making 87 scale in my previous content but without light and without interior but right now I built this miniature with light and interior like this guys we making entirely by hand and for the material we made from wood we made during uh, we made for one oh no 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 we met for yeah for one week we met this miniature bus like this one week to making this miniature bus yeah because this is my first time to make miniature bus in small size in 87 scale with interior and with like so I took a long time to making this to build this miniature bus Now for the on-off switch in the under on the holder, we make under the holder for on-off switch, and for the battery too, we make under the bus holder. So this is new our product. Maybe if you interested to buy new our product like this mini other bus with 87 scale you can contact us in our whatsapp number and yeah we not only show you about new our product but we also want to explain you about tutorial how to making how to making or build mini other bus in 87 scale with light and interior like this Yeah, actually, for making this miniature is not easy actually, because for making this miniature we have we need uh, creativity to making this miniature bus, because there there are a lot of tiny part to making this miniature bus, guys. So we must be careful to making this miniature bus. But you don't need to worry guys because I will explain you step by step from beginning until end from beginning until end to make about making this miniature bus and maybe if you still difficult, if you still confused, confusing or maybe you still stuck in some progress you can comment below guys I will make sure I will answer your question to give your solution Nah guys, maybe if you want to get template with high resolution you can leave your email, your email below <laughs> you can leave your email below if you want to get template with high resolution I will share template with high resolution with via your email so you can get template with high resolution to build this miniature class because I recommended you to get template with high resolution when you build this us to get mid result yeah okay guys how to build this mini other bus you can watch this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel and the guys to get new notification about mini other bus around the world and we also make a tutorial and now maybe there are a lot of interesting content when you subscribe this video maybe if you like about mini other bus we also sharing knowledge experience, our knowledge and our experience about me
so at first we have to cut every window when we cut it we have to be careful because we cut the window in small mini miniature size it's not like we cut the window in a big miniature size so it's different guys Nah, after we cut the window, then we cut the front and rear like because we will add some leads also for the front and rear sides. After we cut our windows and front rear like then we tidy up every corner of window with black marker in small size is to get neat result nah then we laminate the body bus template with a lamination machine before we laminate we have to cover the body bus template paper with a laminate layers for lamination, for lamination, we going to the photocopy shop first and wait around 5 until 10 minutes depending on the queue at the photocopy shop because we don't have any laminate machine in our home so that's why we have to go into uh, photocopy store first to laminate one template so uh, after we laminate this paper then we cut the body bus template with sizers to cut we have to be careful not to rush so guys <laughs> this challenge me a bit because it's my first time to making a, or build a miniature pass on small scale in 87 scale so it's normal that it took me a long time to make this <laughs> You should make space beside the front window for the glue holder is to glue the front and side of the bus body guys. So it's the same we did for the back side or bus style too. Then we also cut every wheel mount as well. So we have four wheel mounts in the side pass body template, guys. So after we cut all the body bus template, we have to make a mark to make a line behind the body bus template with a cutter. This means that we can easily bend every corner of the bus template guys. Because we eliminate this paper, so we have our own technique to bend it. <laughs> it's interesting right? Then we start to make a line behind the body bus template with a cutter. We also need a roller too, so that it can be precise when we make a line.
Yeah, after we've drawn a line behind the past body template, we can start bending each corner of the past with our thumb. Yeah, be careful guys. After we bend every corner of the past template, next step we tidy up every corner on the front and rear side with black marker. Then we make a window line with a marker as a reference when we put the window line with a dove black spotlight. Okay guys, then we stick a spotlight on each window to make it look more real. <laughs> because I think the Singapore SPS bus also has black window tin, so that's why we have to put some black transparent spotlight on the side. So when we stick a spotlight, we must be careful because it's very small set window guys. So you have to pay attention about this. Then we stick a spotlight on left side too. The way is still same when we stick on the right side. Guys, actually I stick a spotlight on right side two times. <laughs> yeah, because mine was not right, so we did it again. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Oh my god. So guys, we stick spotlight on the front windows also. We call it as window driver. So after we put the spotlight in every window, the next step we trim or tidy up every spotlight with a cutter according to the window pattern. To trim or tidy up, we must be careful because many patterns are not visible guys because they are has dark colors.
The next step, we install the lighting. First, we have to check every light one by one to make sure the LED is white, blue, and red because we use transparent LEDs so we don't know what the color the LED is. To check every LED, you have to connect the cathode. Cathode is shortest part of the LED with the black cable as negative current and the anode longest things of the LED with the red cable as positive current. Nah guys, the lamp cannot on if your current is wrong. So you should pay attention about this. Good luck guys. You can do it. <laughs> Then we can install every light according to place guys. For white light, you have to put on front on the bus as headlamp. For the rear light, you have to put on back or rear on the bus as tail light. For sticks, we can use a glue gun, but I recommend using a mini glue gun. If you are a beginner, don't use a large glue gun like this, guys, because it's a bit difficult to stick small part of spare part, guys. Wow. Yeah, anyway, you can watch this video, guys. I will try to explain to you in easy sentence in English. We are not speak in difficult pronunciation or even British accent. We are speak in standard South Asia accent. Maybe if your English not good, you don't need to worry, guys, because our English not very well too, actually. But at least you can understand us. <laughs>
cut the cable in 20 cm. It's enough to pour cable into the holder. After we assemble the lamp circuit, then we check with the pad dry to make sure every lamp is working. Nah, and then we connect the cable to the pad dry cables according to the positive and negative current. Nah guys, look at this, look at this, you see that, headlamp is works, so it means there is no problem with the headlamp, then we can check the tie light too. Nah guys, we put double tape here to prevent short circuit between positive and negative current. After we put double tape, we check for tie light, but I forgot to record. The method still same when we check the headlamp guys yeah okay after we install headlamp and tie leg on the bus body the next step we combine all side with glue gun and well again and again we have to be careful <laughs> Now we have to make sure if the structure strong enough when we combine it. For the front cowl, we can stick it after we combine all sides of the body bus structure. To combine rear side, we must be careful like we combine front side.
Yeah, the next step we make pass sassis. To make a pass sassis, we have to draw a template first with a small marker and rulers. According to size of a real template, then cut it with a wood cutter. You can follow this video how to make pass chassis. Okay? Make pass sassis, I mean. <laughs> okay? Good luck. Now, maybe if this video took fast for you, you can change playback speed into 0.5 normal speed or above 0.52 slow speed guys Yeah, the next step we making pushes holder. It's like when you see a miniature in tiny size or maybe even big size, they use a stand or holder and there is uh, an, some an explanation maybe of the miniature below. And we always call it as description. So at first, for the way still same when we make the bus sizes. We have to draw the pass holder template first on the plywood according to the original template and adjust it to the real size as well. Yeah guys, then we cut the template holder with wood cutter. To cut the plywood carefully with normal pressure and as much as possible not to hit your hands. Otherwise, your hand will be injured.
yeah guys then we making petroid compartment hull and on off switch hull in 5 layers of plywood because we will pile up 5 layers of plywood for making pusses holder and we will making petroid compartment and on off switch under the holders too so that's why we have to making some hull in every layers of plywood anyway you can follow in this video So guys, I want to give you some suggestion because this is a small size of miniature pusses, so we must be careful and need creativity to make this. And well, we have many tiny parts which we will build such as seat, handrail, dashboard, partition, and etc. So guys, <laughs> this challenge me a bit because it's my first time to making a, or build a miniature bus on small scale in 87 scale so it's normal that it took me a long time to make this <laughs> then we continue to making our bus chassis by combining every part of the bus chassis with a glue gun you have to be careful when using the glue gun because it's very very hot like i told you early so guys i want to tell to you guys <laughs> Actually, it's my first time to make a miniature bus in super super tiny scale with interior and like. Yeah, in previous content, I also made a miniature bus on a scale of 87, but we call as paper bus because that miniature don't have uh, interior and like, so that's why we call as paper bus. <laughs>
Yeah, the next step is to combine five layers of plywood with glue gun, except the top layers of wood. We don't combine to the other layers. We have to combine them properly, so that they are easy to sand when we want to smooth every side of the bus holder with sandpaper. Anyway guys, good luck, you can do it. Yeah, the next step is, after we combine our layers of plywood, then we sand it with sandpaper. We using coarse sandpaper to smooth every side of the bus holder. Seems I ever give you some tips like this in my Instagram account, at metricdiegas. Yeah, you can check it maybe. Now, after we sun it with sandpaper, then we close the pores of the set plywood with wood putty. I bought this, uh, I buy this item at building shop. If you are Indonesian, you can call it as tempul kayu, <laughs> and you can buy it at your building shop too. For using wood putty, it's very very simple and easy. <laughs> So we just mix wood putty with pasta inside. I don't know what the exact name of this pasta. <laughs> because this is my first time to using wood putty actually. <laughs> yeah. But don't pour too much pasta. Because it will dry quickly. So we only pour a little pasta here. Anyway, you can follow in every single step this video. Yeah. Then we apply wood putty on every side of the pass holder to close the pores of the side plywood. After that, we dry for about maybe 2 until 5 minutes depending on how much you pour the pasta into the wood putty.
Yeah, after we apply wood putty, the next step we sun a kind with coarse sandpaper to get a neat result before we paint it with black colors. So guys, look at this. You can see that we get smooth result on every set of plywood. So we can paint it with black colors. It's easy, right? Actually, it's easy if you want to try, if you want to learn step by step from beginning until end. Actually, there is no word difficult. There is difficult word, actually, if you want to try, if you want to learn. So, the next step is, we painted a set of pass holder with black colors and pine brush. So here, we use black pine that we bought at a mini market near my house maybe, <laughs> I'm forgot. For the price, maybe around 5000 IDR or Indonesian rupiah. For paint it, we have to make sure if we paint it evenly to get good result. Yeah, after we paint it, the next step, we spray it with a clear colors to get a shiny result. To spray, you can buy it at paint shop actually. And we also paint the past sassis too, but we paint under the sassis only. For the way, it's still same when we painted past holders, so you don't need to worry. Guys, I kind of forgot. I'm sorry for this. Actually, we must put front cowl addition too in the front cowl. Anyway, you can follow this video, guys. Nah, the next step. We make an outdoor air conditioner with three layers of 3mm plywood. Then we shape it with a wood cutter. We make outdoor air conditioner in the form of a 3D trapezoid. Now we have to be careful when we shaping it. Slowly but properly. When we shape it, it's very simple actually if you do it slowly. Don't be rushed and make sure if your cutter is always sharp.
Then we shape it with a wood cutter. We make a door air conditioner in the form of a 3D trapezoid. Now we have to be careful when we shaping it slowly but properly. When we shape it, it's very simple actually if you do it slowly. Don't be rushed and make sure if your cutter is always sharp. Then we using wood putty to to close the pores of air conditioner outdoors, so we can get more smooth result. The method is the same when you apply wood putty on the push holder. While waiting for the air conditioner until dry about 5 minutes, we can make push mirror first. So here we using a foam 2mm to making mirror. Now, for making mirror, we apply to peel up 2 layers of a foam. And because it's small parts, so we must be careful guys. And then put mirror on the side front of the push body.
Nah, after the air conditioner dry, then we sand it with coarse sandpaper. It's same like we sand pass holder. Then we can paint that air conditioner with red color and paint brush. So here we use red paint. Now actually to paint we have to spray on the paper first. Then we use a paint brush to color the air conditioner. But it doesn't matter if you want to spray directly. It's up to you which one do you want. Yeah, after we paint, we have to waiting for 5 minutes until dry. Then we spray it with a clear color to get a shiny result. Nah, next step we make interior sailing pass. So here we using a foam 2mm as material. So at first we draw sailing template on a foam with white marker. Then we cut with scissors. So here we peel up two layers of ati foam to make the sailing construction I mean sailing construction <laughs> I'm sorry for that Nah, we also making sailing addition too. For metal still same when we make sailing, we adjust the roll template of sailing addition size. Yeah, after we make sailing construction, then we can paint sailing with chrome color. Nah guys, for method is almost same when we coloring air conditioner. Then we made the dashboard from two layers of ATI foam, guys. So for the making dashboard, you can follow in this video, and we also add the circle as the steering wheels. Then we put it inside front of the bus. Yeah, the next step we glued the carpet. We using double side tape to glue the carpet. Anyway, you can follow in this video. It's very easy to do it. Yeah, 
Then we made partition, it's like border between driver and passengers. So here we using plywood in 3mm as material of partition. Then we paint with chrome colors. It's same like you make a yeah, hand rail. And all interior part is chrome in here. And we also make handrail with small size of straws and paint with chrome colors. Then we glue the sailing addition on the middle sailing with a glue gun. The rest we just add like on the sailing. It's easy, right? <laughs> Then we add another layer of AT foam at the top of sailing guys. And you see that <laughs> the interior ceiling is finished. It's easy way. Yeah, okay. The next step is we make every single seat. Wow. So we have to make seats in many times, in many, many times. Maybe around 16 seats that we make. I think it's challenge you a bit, right? Because we made the same chair in 16 time no 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 chair it's seat not chair <laughs> now at first we draw a pattern like this according to the actual size of the seat template so that we can get the seat part many times you can follow this video how do i draw this pattern one layers of ati foam for top part and two layers of ati foam for low part so you have to remember about this. You have to pay attention about this. Yeah, so guys, this is my first time to making seat in small size. So I had to be careful to make this. It's you too. You have to be careful too, not only me. Yeah, then we glue the seat with glue gun, but because this is super super small size, so once again, we must be careful, do not rush, you know.
Then we can paint sheet with chrome color. You can pour spray color on paper and then color with paint brush. So almost all interior parts have chrome color like this. You see that? Wow. <laughs> Then we can arrange all the interior parts according to the interior map on the interior template paper. When we arrange all interior parts, we have to arrange as neat as possible, so we can get neat result. Next step, we make wheels part. We make from two layers of ati spons or ati foam for front wheels and four layers of uh, spons with central hull for rear wheels. Making the front wheels is very very simple and it's a challenge to make the rear wheels, but that's okay. 
there is no difficult word if you want to try actually. Then we add chrome to the center hull of the rear wheels. Then we tidy up chrome colors which uh, out of the line with black marker. And we also add a front rim too, very simple actually. We just made a circle or circle then put it in the front wheels. We also draw trim pattern on the rim. 